<laughs> was, a- anyone will do. It was so much better when we were swaying back and forth. It was so <laughs> much more fun. But now he wants to count. Okay, very serious professional. Ready? We're, we're on max now. Mm-hmm. Five. This one's on DKN. Four. Three. And Roku. Two. Where are we and again? Men. And men. Five. Where aren't we at this We're point? not on men. We're going to be in Dolphin <laughs> Mall on December 11th. <laughs> on men. At Vivo, Miami, in the Miller Lite Bar. That's right. It's free to the public and open to all ages. I know the graphic says 21 and over. That's a legal thing. But you can bring your kids to this, and you can hang out with us on December 11th. We're going to be watching, hopefully, Titans Dolphins. If last night is any evidence, I don't think they'll flex anything from Monday Night Football. So I think we might be good for Titans Dolphins. It'll be all going down at 8 p.m. December 11th at the Miller Lite Bar at Vivo Miami and Dolphin Mall. Come out and see us. I'm excited for the event, but if I brought my child to see Will Levis play football, I mean. Well, there's going to be plenty of fireworks there, especially with JPP possibly suiting up for the Miami Dolphins. And it is all presented well by Miller Lite and Dollar Shave Club. Mm-hmm. I should tell the peoples, uh, Stugant, because, uh, you know, we would normally do Chris Moss. We would do a celebration around my brother with my brother. Uh, Moss was my brother's invention. It was not mine. He wanted music, art, sports. He thought uh, that I was wasting away in sports and that I should be doing bigger and better uh, artistic things. He wanted me to throw big, (laughs) giant parties. That's what my brother wanted. And I lost him this year, so we're not doing it. But we are doing this watch party. And as a holiday party goes, it's not a moss. It's not those giant festivities that we do. But it's, but this one's going to be so much fun, Dan. But no, this is one we want people to come out for. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Yes. No. I'm not. Just, I'm not criticizing. The, no, it's just the a weird party uh, we're doing. No, weird promo. It's a weird way of I, doing I'm it. Saying, promo. Right. Now I'm sad. This right. is our party mm-hmm. we're doing. Uh, we did not get to celebrate this year, this thing. And this is the sports party we're doing. And it's at a mall. It's at Dolphin Mall. Well, it's at a big stage. I've been to this area, and they have live concerts there. It's. Uh, are you familiar with how Texas Live looks? This is no. the Miami. Well, Texas Live, whenever there's <laughs> first take is on broadcast from Texas Live. It's a great place to go watch games. And Philadelphia has their oh, version of Oh, where the Will Kane cowboy hat stuff would Yeah, the like you, this is Miami's version of this. They have a big sports bar with a bunch of TVs out there. There's a Miller Lite area out there with a big stage that they have music acts out there. So it's a nice little gathering place. And it's in Doral. Or as fake Jason Jackson would say, Doral. <laughs> it's a fun place. <laughs> Uh, we have not been to Doral, I don't feel like, in a long time. Not since Suwu. Is that right? That was the first Get one. Get out of here. That's the that's first Suwu. one we ever do. That might have been, that might have been, it was a Japanese <laughs> restaurant. That was one of the most humbling celebrity moments of my life. I went over to a hibachi table holding out my hand, uh, thinking somebody wanted to take a picture with me, and they just said, we're not here for you. It's, it was just I was a, standing right it, next it to you, just, and I just laughed. It was just a, video a group on of YouTube people of having a fine, fine dinner, and I just stuck my hand. <laughs> little yum yum sauce. Yeah. Levitar comes yeah. strolling in. I think I mean. the concept was, Hey, let's dress up in our Miami Hurricanes gear and have a pseudo Miami Hurricanes pep rally at a hibachi joint in Doral. Was this Stugatz is doing? Who who negotiated this deal? Is that if we look? It was back a part of that, his fifty fifty club promotion. I did have it yesterday. That was a beauty. How did we end up at a four tables? How did we end up at a Japanese restaurant doing a sports bar party when they didn't have televisions? Is that your doing? A <laughs> bad idea. Probably uh, radio. <laughs> Radio, radio promotion, so great. So not since Suwu, and many of you were there, so you know what this was like in Doral. Yeah. You know we always there were a ton of people there. They're everywhere we go, just eating. We were just yeah, but they weren't there for just, us. We were at capacity of forty-four easily. Yes, is, is Stugatz actually going to show up down in Doral? We'll, we'll see. see. He said he was hotel. Excited. I mean, what do you? Think? Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Course. We'll see if there's an appearance fee. Right uh, now, we're going to be throwing up on our on our video screen if you follow along on DraftKings Network on our YouTube. Oh my God, they found it! Look at Stu. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> Fu Manchu, there, Stu guy. I lost the bet, right? I had to. Fu Manchu. Yeah. Look at that! Yeah. I trusted wow. this man. Well done, Jeremy. Tear me back inside. <laughs> I trusted this man with our futures. Look at this guy. Oh, it's worked out. I mean, that's crazy. Thanks to you. Yeah. I gotta like there's new there's six car. minutes, so let's you know what? Let's just have this video on the bottom right screen because that doesn't make for a good 
video or audio product if we're just doing play-by-play okay, on this. Okay, well, no, let me explain to the audience what's happening. Stugatier has the remnants, the echo of a Fu Manchu. He looks much younger, much thinner, much healthier. His hair is resplendent. He mm. is walking through a parking lot. I'll do the play-by-play on this. It's in a strip mall. That's there's correct. Su-woo. There's Here the, yeah. there's the Su-woo. Su-woo Japanese Steakhouse. Yeah, we're all, there's Mike Ryan, a young oh, wow. Mike Ryan. Look That's at him. My favorite Javar's James jersey. Where's Royce? Roy's got to be somewhere here. Uh, yeah. Yes, let's see who else is here. This is a... Uh, oh, that is... Yeah, look at that. Look at, that. You. Yeah, look at that chin. Oh, I mean, uh, which one of them? <laughs> no, that's when you had one. Right. <laughs> That's a, that's a hibachi place. It was a fair response. It's Chris. totally fair. Right. Totally you had fair. one. Yes, yes. I, back then I did have one. Now I'm hiding the many I have behind a beard. Are we going to do play by play for all of this though? Because none of us have seen Not this well in lit. 15 years. Okay, now let's uh, let's just have it play there on the bottom. Here for we your... are at uh, Suwu. That's right. Uh, uh, that we were at the Japanese Steakhouse doing a, a watch party. Look, it's Dan Lebitard. And uh, I'm definitely giving away fish tank tickets to Pro Player Stadium right there, courtesy of the ticket chicks. All right, uh, let's go back for a second here because there were so there really were a lot of things that I wanted to talk I'm about, about today. I'm about to grab the mic and say, "Hello, my friend. We meet again." <laughs> you do look like <laughs> it's Creed. You got a lot of Creed in Creed. there. Yeah, it is. You could do a halftime ah, show. Oh wow! You, there that, it is. that character could absolutely bring back the halftime show. That there he is, right there. Yeah, yeah. That guy Creed could was absolutely a huge do that. part. There would of be. My teenager. Oh, we're about to get the onion volcano. Yeah. Stu loves it. Look How do I look less Love greasy it. than Stu? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Is that vanilla ice? With my goatee. That is, vanilla. No, ice. That's just a bad resolution. It's not yeah. vanilla ice. Um, the things that, that I wanted. Luther Campbell? That is Luther yes, Campbell. that is Luke. Wow. Yep. <laughs> so good. Look at these uh, graphics. Campbell yes. Uh, <laughs> we have come so far, uh, and we have not. And we have not. I want to get to some of the things that we meant to talk about today. We've got dueling top five lists. Jeremy can't stop watching that. Jeremy, you want more play-by-play of this? I don't want to lose the entire audio audience with us just gawking at video with at the height of our self-absorption, watching things when we were young. I just wish that the audio audience, please go find this on YouTube, because the look for both Stu Gatz and Mike is so of the time. Like I said to Mike, I don't know what year this is, but you look like 2003. I can assure you that... That, that was not the look of the time. I was a good four years behind the trend. And you said it was 2007, so you looked like 2003. Do you have khakis yeah. below, like cat, like no, not khakis. What's Gee, the? I got jorts going. Yeah, the cargo pa- cargo pants below the knees. That was the thing. Stugatz has the microphone. Why? And what do you mean why? I mean, I'm talking forever, and I'm wondering what could I possibly it say? It looks like a sad to giveaway. Entertain a bunch oh, of people. It looks like a sad giveaway. Having fillet and chicken. You I just mean, handed somebody you like got a GNT. You just handed somebody <laughs> like right, a signed right. football. It yeah. looks pretty sad. Yeah. Standing ovation. <laughs> I I can't believe that your self-absorption, all of you, is such that you would ignore my self-absorption and the place that the audience would notice on that, which is you were so fixated with your look that you did not. See that I was shoveling some sort of cake into my face. <laughs> oh, I at a, noticed at a really fast rate of speed. That was your carbs era. Uh, but there is Stugatz. Stugatz has the remnants of a Fu Manchu. It's not shaven. It's like he's trying to grow it but can't, or that there's dirt involved. Like it doesn't look like hair. Could you not grow a Fu Manchu? What is happening there? I think I lost a bet, and somehow it was like half of it was painted on me. I don't know. It's a weird. It was dirt. All I mean, seventeen people there really seem excited to be there, though. <laughs> I talked people's ears off about Robert Marv. No doubt. The video just had a wheel transition. This is high tech. Yes, excellent work. That was our first ever, first ever thing of this kind. That was our first and last ever event at Hibachi Restaurant. (laughs) And and the most recent Doral event until December 11th. Come out and I will shave my goatee there like, like Stu Gatz. Yes, what an incentive. And I will wear a Scott Stapp jersey. I had a custom one done in Cowboys un- in a Cowboys uniform until Kyle Brandt oh. stole it from me. I've got dueling top five things, including Stu Gatz. Me, I have the top five most shocking things from last night's Clippers Nuggets game. The more exciting part of this is this is your first ever show top five. I mean, wow. this is really – they're not dueling top fives. Dueling top fives have to be in the same category. This is your top five, and Mike has a separate top five, a consensus top okay, five. Okay, so it's not well, it's not a dueling top five, but what is your top five, Mike? 
Uh, names in or around sports that inspired the least amount of confidence. <laughs> Is this an Eberflus yeah, uh, honor? Then, yeah, OLI, because I was just looking at Matt Eberflus and I was trying to pronounce his name correctly, and I just said, you know what? Don't give it that much effort, Mike. This guy's not long for this one. I've never seen that guy talk into his headset. It's, He's it's, always just like staring with like a... Not like a serious look. Great hair, though. You can I mean, you can clip this. Mm. I've never been more sure of anything in my entire life that it's not going to work out for Matt Eberflus. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's mm. just it's just not mm. because of his name. Okay, <laughs> Eberflus. <laughs> I can't be making that that noise with my mouth around a leader of men. Coach Anytime Eberflus. You're, Eberflus. No. No. Eberlus. I think coaches should uh, make up names. They should have stage names like actors do, musicians do. If you have a name like Eberflus, Jack Spade, right? Yeah, give yourself like a a, a manly, Chuck Knox. you know, like yeah. a coach, yeah. a, a big time well, tough coach name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'll agree, Eberflus, outside looking in. We would agree with that. I think the audience could come up with a lot of uh, outside uh, looking uh, in. A, a oh, lot. I, I bet you the audience. Well, would come Dan up with took a lot the punchline, so I had to make it out Got outside it. looking in. Okay. I had to think quick on my feet. <laughs> Wait a minute, as you can see with things- that Zuwu video. I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> these things change. The top fives change? Well, no, I can be fluid after you give away a punchline. Yes. I'm used to it, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, OLI, Matt Eberflus. I don't want to get to the top fives yet, <laughs> okay. though. Thinking on my feet mean? again. Okay. No, I'll just go right. myself, Dan. How about that? I'll just do that. What would you like to do? I mean, <laughs> uh, The place that I wanted to end up was talking to Chris Cody about the argument that Greg and his wife got into <laughs> this morning. You know, it's not going to get fun- much funnier than Matt Eberflus anyways, so... <laughs> I'll just Muffin McGraw. I mean, I mean. She, and she's had success, so I'm not. Marty Morningweg would have been a nice visual. <laughs> Norv Turner. Yeah, it's not. It's not even that good. It's a crap one. Norv. What was yours? Norv. <laughs> Norv is a good one. Yeah. Norv is good. You can't trust the Norv. No. No, put it on the poll. Please. We don't get to talk about the list after the list gets torn up in a million pieces. What do you after mean? You nope. just did that. You just threw it. No, don't Whoa. say we don't get to no, do get it to when do you that. threw a morning wag in my face. Because you wanted to get you, one good joke in the me. five. You don't get to hear Will Lutz. Sorry. Oh, Will Lutz. You don't get to hear Will Lutz. <laughs> Will Lutz is a good one. Well, you could have had it. It was a good one. could have had it. What did the Cody's fight over this morning? My, my dad was mad at my mom because it was cold out when he got outside into my car, and he was mad his wife didn't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... She gets up before me to let the dog out, so she's outdoors at like 5 a.m. Yeah, and yet can't tell me, hey, put on a you know an little, overcoat, little chilly out, Greg. top coat, pea yeah. coat, yeah, you know, uh, dress accordingly, and and she sends me out wearing this shorts. This is a new and unimproved Dan Levitar yeah, show with the Stugats, gamble on by DraftKings. That's been. Dead spin. He always <laughs> wins. I have thoughts. Why is uh, why is problematic Joe Zagacki, uh, questionable legacy Joe Zagacki, wandering around in the shadows, whispering in my ears in that voice? Uh, the, the word dead spin Just, again and again. No one, no one on the left seems to care about the kids. <laughs> oh, there's a innocent, cultural appropriating child in the middle of all of this. I had to take a break off of attending Monday Night Raw with Clay Travis and Alexi Lawless. What a crew. <laughs> Jelly Roll was there. <laughs> you guys know what you did. Back to you. It's Lawless. I mean, so the, 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 the culture war does have to get funny, right? I mean, it does have to take a, 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 a tour into funny. I've still got my top five list. Wow. Which is top five shocking things to happen at the Nuggets Clippers game. And Stugat. Mm -hmm. Outside looking in. Yes. Outside looking in. OLI. OLI Mm -hmm. is an announcer live on air just said the N word accidentally. Outside looking wow. in. Wow. Not in the top five. That's top a strong five, top five. five. I would agree that's going too far. That's going too far. I'm just telling you. I'm, I'm telling you what too just. Far. I'm telling you that they, they, they were shocking thing after shocking thing that happened after 1030 may, last may night. Ask a question. Was it a white? It, well, 
it was. Just answer the question. Was it a white? It was not. It was live on air. It was live on not air. The question that I'm it asking. happened. I, it, it, was it a white? A white. <laughs> was it? Because if it was, I would have heard about it. Well, it would be in the top five, and to be in number one, I think. Number three. I think it would be number one if 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 I could answer that question directly. But no. But it's out. It's outside looking in. It's outside so, looking in. Was it a white? I'm not answering that yes. question. <laughs> that one's easy. It's a yes or no. A, that's the one you can't do. <laughs> Number five. Wow. Unless you're Morgan Wallen. Exciting. It is very Then it's just like a launch pad. <laughs> <laughs> Number five is uh, James Harden, the descent of James Harden in a game that the Clippers lost at home to the Nuggets. <laughs> Now has him uh, shooting 12% of his shots in the restricted area because, <laughs> you know, the way this is going to age is going to be jumpers from the outside because it's hard to get to the rim and fall on the floor and get 15 fouls a game. So 12% of his shots in the restricted or area, that's 20 percentage points lower than where he usually is when he's an MVP of the league. Bit wordy. Yeah. It was hard yeah. to figure out where I was going to hit the fanfare there. <laughs> Number four. Not N-word. No Jokic, no Murray, no Gordon, and Denver wins at L.A. by nine. <laughs> Somehow Jokic's arms were still bleeding, despite not playing. They always are, Mike. Paul George scored six points in 37 minutes and had another shot off the side of the backboard at the end. <laughs> six points in 37 minutes. Number two, DeAndre Jordan, 21 points. What? 13 rebounds. Get out of no, here. absolutely not. <laughs> I'm Googling this. That's ridiculous. No. Ball sack, for in, sure. In this year? Yeah. This year. Right. That's number like two. Like total? That's to, number for the season? two. For which team? In this was game. Was it the Clippers no, or the Nuggets that the, he scored that much for? Oh He's on the Nuggets? Yes. He's really? A What's crazier is he had five assists and two steals. Wow. That's not crazy. DeAndre Dimes. <laughs> it's not crazier. It's my list. Fair. Hey, well done. And this is number yes. two. Yeah. That's, that's why I believe it. When I when I bring out my lists, you guys, I don't do it very often. Oh, we know. But OLI, as an announcer, I will remind you again. This is the thing. I don't know if it's caught the internet ablaze, but it probably should. Not if it was a white. Live on air during a Nuggets game. I'm just scared of this subject matter. Mm-hmm. He, he was trying to say Nuggets. Top fives are fun, though, right? I mean, you're enjoying Moving yourself, on. aren't you? Moving yeah. On. Outside I mean. looking in. <laughs> we got it. DeAndre Jordan, 21 <laughs> points, 13 rebounds is vastly more shocking than that. He's learning from Jokic. <laughs> wait till practice. this next one. <laughs> it's rubbing off on Wait him. till this. going to start bleeding soon. <laughs> wait till this next one. Wait until number one. I like to underpromise and overdeliver. Uh, where are we at? Number one. Okay. Oh, meandering. Right. Yeah, de- number two. I know it's, a, it's been a bit meandering. That's what was, true. What was two? It, it's been an official. DeAndre, DeAndre okay, Jordan. Good. That is correct. Right. Number one. Reggie Jackson. <laughs> Mr. October. Not that Reggie Jackson. Oh. <laughs> Mr. November. This Reggie Jackson, who is that Reggie Jackson, but not that <laughs> Reggie Jackson. The same Reggie Jackson. NBA Reggie Jackson. Yeah. When, what team has was he on last? Uh, I'm trying to decide which team he's on now. I'm trying. Right. To, I want because my dad to name one a, team he's ever been on. He's in Oakland A's. <laughs> <laughs> the Athletics. A, he's in that DeAndre Jordan class where I don't know if he's playing for the Nuggets or the Clippers in this game. He was a Clipper. Pistons. I, Pistons is his last team, right? He, he, that was many. That, that was a couple of teams no ago. Way. That's where he got his big contract. No, no. But but here's the big pin. Here is the big punchline. Okay. Because I haven't even gotten to, by the way, other outside looking in, Westbrook got in a fight with a fan during play. That's not surprising. Russell no, that Westbrook, happens every week. But, I mean. but the surprising part is that Ty Lue has said the Clippers have never had a leader and that Westbrook is their leader. Uh, oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's surprising. Is it not surprising? Yeah. Outside looking in. Mm-hmm. Not good enough. Right. Reggie Jackson for the Denver Nuggets. So the team. Thank you. The champion Nuggets without Jokic, Murray, or Gordon went into the Clippers. And won by nine points because Reggie Jackson, on 15 of 19 shooting, Come on. put up 35 <laughs> points. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm 
I'm voting for DeAndre Jordan. <laughs> With 13 assists. <laughs> 13 oh, dimes? Whoa. What? Oh. With 13 assists? I knew you were going to do that. Oh. It's the 13 assists that puts him over the top. He totally controlled that game. I think five assists from DeAndre Jordan is more impressive. It might be. The 15 of 19 is what put me over the top. I'm Reggie Jackson. 15 of 19? So the N-word, huh? Yeah. OLI. It, it just flew out. Did oh, he say, I'm I. sorry afterwards? No, it was such an awkward stammer. And 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 then I, I, I'd I like to see what's next because I haven't been able to find it even on the internet. Like it was. I mean, you got some luck. The one game you watched was sound. What a treat. In the, in the middle of the night. And it was outside looking in. I fell in love with basketball all over again. I'm arguing for the, the in-season tournament because I'm like, I feel so alive. After midnight? What are you kidding me? <laughs> this game is so good. Westbrook's fighting fans. Chris, how does your father blame your mother for him not knowing that it's cold outside? I told him it's like my five-year-old waiting on us to tell her how to dress. Like, it's just... It's, nah, it's a common courtesy. I got to be honest. Yeah. If you go out and walk the dog and it's slightly chillier than normal, you should yeah. come in and tell everyone. Yeah, tell me. Right. And she, she watched me. Uh, she knows what I'm wearing. And, and not, she should have, you know, oh, by the way, it's cold out. Why don't you put on a pair of jeans, put on a long sleeve shirt. She's always saying I should wear long sleeve for those shirts. One, for those wondering, it's 73 degrees out. Ah, it was 60. It's chilly. It yeah. was 60 it was this morning. Si it was a balmy 68 Ooh. degrees this yeah. morning in Fort Lauderdale. I, I left my house at 658, and it was in the 50s. It was I funny to watch no. 59. Yeah, no, that's not. No, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was up at that hour in the morning. No, it was and, early. It was, and, no, he's and right, it was in the mid-60s. What was no, the dew Dan. point? It was 59 when I woke up. Damn, we're two hours kids. north. Yeah. I mean, two yeah. points. <laughs> yeah, it was snowing. It was uh, no, but it was just funny because <laughs> I can't hear my dad. My dad's walking out of his garage to come out to, the, to my car because we took the bright line today, and I just see him mouth cold, cold, <laughs> yeah. and I'm just like, like it's just such a at this time was of year. Was he rubbing even his down arms? Here, you check the weather app. Like, <laughs> Who checks the weather app? Lucy, People. I don't have a weather those things app. Things are never right. Wait a minute, I mean, Lucy. I I want to get. We have to get. Never right. We ha you're They're never right, Lucy. This has to be among the funniest things you have ever heard from lifelong Floridians complaining about 59 degrees as we approach December. I feel like I'm losing brain cells. If that thing starts with a five, we are bundling up. That is, just, just look it Turn up. in the heat oh, up. When I got here, everyone was like, so this is what winter's like. I didn't know what they were talking about. I didn't even realize it was cold today because it was 60 degrees. That's fine. We just, we just need to buck up. If it's in the 70s, that's sweater weather here. Like, if it gets below 80, that's time to break out pants yeah. and a hoodie and get ready to bundle up. If it gets into the 60s, forget about it. And I you mean, can that's... bundle up courtesy of Burlington Coat Factory <laughs> on the corner of 441 and Commercial Boulevard. <laughs> There's no Burlington there, is there? <laughs> They're all on the... And Powerline Road. All right. What about... They're bird? all on Powerline Road. Bird Road. I need to, just for the audience, you know, we have a worldwide... <laughs> Audience and Chris Cody, the Cody, the, the Cody's are both saying, "Yeah, Mom's gonna tell me it's 59 out." No, I'm criticizing him. I'm saying he should check it like an adult. Chris, if you went outside and walked the dog, would you walk it? And it was cold. First of all, my mom's would you not tell your the wife? Dog. My mom's letting the dog outside. Right. Like maybe, I'm but not she's had a feel of what outside but it's not feels her responsibility. like. Responsibility. Well, yeah, it is. Check the, an app. The We're dog, not saying it's a common courtesy. The That's dog all needs saying. to tell you too. Got to shake. Got to yeah. shake. It's wet out there and cold. Dog needs to tell you. Jumping Charlie's fairly useless that way. He is, believe me. And in a million other ways. Go on. How can I mean, you know, he's just he's on a bad run, the dog. And, and I you mean sent, that literally. You sent him to like a six week or, or two month expensive yeah, boot camp. Did not work. They they spent thousands of dollars to send it to a boot camp, and then as soon as they got him back, the, the people at the boot camp handed him like a buzzard. Like, here, this'll work. Yeah, but we don't use that. I find that to be inhumane. Agreed. We don't use that. But it was just funny that this place that's supposed to train your dog, their big solution was at the end. They're like, we tried, but if it doesn't listen, use this thing. Right. It just seemed like you could have just saved some money there. Well, you know, we tried. Jumping Charlie's almost two. He's going to be two in March. Still does the occasional poop in the house. Mm. You know, mm. people can relate. I don't know. Maybe they can't. Just like his dad. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you know, I do it. I blame it on the dog. Have you considered a bird? No, we have You not. can pick up a bird at Simbad's Exotic Bird House on the corner of Bird Road. Apropos, exotic bird breeder, kennel, and soar with birds of all sizes. <laughs> Thank you. At Simbad, with an M. 
He loves Bird Road, man. <laughs> Stugatz, we've got legitimate issues here between Chris Cody and his father. Mm -hmm. They do a podcast together. It is very successful. It has real tension in it because the father and the son have father-son disagreements, and the audience doesn't like that the son is mean to the father. I side with Chris Cody on almost every <laughs> single thing. I don't think Chris Cody is too mean. He has to manage a father who thinks he's the star of the show and everything he says is golden flakes of wonder that makes the audience crazed with delight. And Thank you for speaking for me when I'm sitting right here. Mm -hmm. He is the star of the show. His name's on the show Thank twice. You. But yeah. what Dan said after that is also mm. true. He mm. thinks everything he says is interesting. Mm. Yeah. Uh, no, you guys are you guys are speaking for me. So continue. No, no. Well, I'm I just to interrupt. I'm I'm setting up uh, the Greg Cody show featuring Greg Cody. You're With? setting up a back in my day, right? That's a, With? a regular mm. Tuesday benchmark, Fine. right? Yeah, uh, yeah usually. Yeah, not every Tuesday. We right. try to. Uh, but you have one this Tuesday, right? No, no, I don't. No. Holidays. No. Usually is a stretch. Yeah, it's the holiday season. Mm -hmm. What does that? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? It's, it's, what it means? It's, holidays. It's, but it's not even time. December right. yet. It's like. Yeah, but it was just Thanksgiving. You know, we had a beautiful Thanksgiving. You Those took, are facts. You took la <laughs> last week off immediately. Uh, Greg Cody. You signed weren't here last week. That that's a holiday. Greg Cody He's sipping his coffee right now. All right, let me let me <laughs> talk. That? I need to get I need to tell everybody what's happening here because the backstory is interesting. Greg Cody, as soon as he uh, finally gets uh, his terms negotiated from Metalark Media, signs a contract that I learned today, Stugatz, is more than he thought it was going to be. Wow. Uh, he took a week off of work last week because he says he was on assignment for the Herald. Going fourteen and two against the spread, making his picks. <laughs> fourteen and two. You see what happens when he has time. I mean, fourteen and two happens when Thank he has you. time yep. for a second to think. And mm -hmm. now he doesn't have a back in my day either. Today, uh, first first day back. Mm -hmm. But the the thing that happens with Greg Cody and his son that is real, and is real hurt. Like legitimate hurt. I just saw it in the kitchen. I don't even know if Chris Cody noticed this. The eating area. <laughs> we would know <laughs> the grazing area yes where i just shoveled a couple of pepperoni into my face uh greg cody was over there legitimately hurt i've known your father long enough to know this legitimately hurt wounded that his kids do not read his column and have, <laughs> and have never read his column that's the part i i will fight back on have i read every column no i need a password Okay. <laughs> well, the, the thing that Christopher tends to do on my own podcast, which annoys me, and I don't mind vigorous debate. Like, if, if okay, I hate the in-season tournament. I don't mind him disagreeing with that. But what he does is he says that I don't really believe that, that I'm just making up my opinion just yeah. for the sake of it. I don't think you hate it. Oh. That's a bad habit. You can't do that to your dad. Because what you're taking away is the one thing that he has or thinks that he has is credibility. Thinks. It undercuts right. me. <laughs> I mean, but you can't do that. I but guess you can, ha you can have the argument. That's fine. Okay, go back and forth. But you can't cut him at the knees, man. Uh, Stug Thank you. Stugatz, what is happening here? It's with Greg Cody's uh, career, and it's with journalism in general. I mean, it's why I was you thought you were accusing me of accusing Carissa Thompson of committing a crime or some world-ending thing. <laughs> Greg Cody is a journalist who's still out here caring about credibility when no one gives a about that anymore. Fake it's news, true. fake news, fake news, hate journalists. My j hate of journalists is such. I don't trust any of you. Uh, you're caring about your credibility, and we're all undercutting it here weekly. And right. it bothers it bothers your father that he's not taken more credibly like he is on the Kornheiser show. I would want a more creative <laughs> like chance with the take. If you're going to do – like you're just doing the – I don't like it. Too much. It's kind of like what you do with statistics and analytics. Too much information. I don't want it. It's just, it's this dismissive, I'm not even giving it a chance. I'm just, I've formed my take, don't like it, and it just feels like you're just faking it. Okay, but it's not, you know, your opinion of my opinion 
doesn't matter as much as my opinion. Like, I am telling you what I think. <laughs> That's, That's a great well name for a show on FS1. <laughs> yes. 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 It is. That show Premiering is so this spring good. on FS1. <laughs> that show is so good. I want that your, show. Your opinion is Metal, your opinion. <laughs> Metal Lark Media needs your to produce that Your opinion of my opinion show. is not as important as my opinion. <laughs> right, New well, contract, I mean. I mean, isn't that Featuring the Kevin Wilds. <laughs> I'm giving you my opinion, and you're saying it's not real what you just said. Yes, it is. It's the way I think. For crying out loud. Yeah. I screamed at him Host so much Jenny on, the, Taft and Kevin on the podcast that they had to edit out half of it because it got so enraged. Greg, I can completely understand why you would be frustrated at Chris for undermining your takes. But what I can't understand is why you would be upset that he's not reading every column. Because I specifically prefer that my family doesn't listen to any of this. Right. My wife doesn't listen to any of what I do here unless I've carefully curated. I want to show her something like, man, when I did that JT on the river thing. Thing, it was the first thing I did when I got home. I was like, look how funny this shit is. I feel if, like I, my wife would divorce me if she heard everything. If I my said family now. listened to the last 20 years, oh boy. It doesn't annoy me anymore. It doesn't annoy me anymore. The only time it used to, keep in mind, Christopher and Michael are both huge Marlins fans. Okay. And, and th- these are the days when I actually used to get the, the paper delivered on my lawn. Like the sports section is right there on the kitchen counter. And they're asking me something about the Marlins that I had just written about. So I'm like literally saying, yeah, I just wrote about that. There it is right there on the kitchen counter. That's the only time it used to be a little bit annoying well, to me. Well, that was just I was never in the realm of let me pick this new. How old were you at that time? Crack right? it open. Yeah. When things started getting on phones, I started reading yeah, it. Yeah, I'm talking about when they're like, you know, he's fourteen and his brother's ten or something like that. You know, old enough to read. They've got enough assigned reading it, uh, you know, through school. Yeah. I mean, come on. You're yeah, gonna make them read about, more? Thank you, Jeremy. They're huge Marlins. He doesn't want to pay for it. <laughs> they're huge Marlins fans, and their dad has just written a Marlins column. You would think they would read it. That's well, that's all. why newspapers died. Well, touche. Tache. I was gonna say it myself. <laughs> wow, that's a good T-shirt. Touche, tache. Touche, tache. How many go. units do you think we can move? <laughs> a lot of people at Suwu Doral <laughs> repping their touche, yeah, tache yeah. shirts. Yeah, the nice hat shirt really uh, went went over. So Jeremy, maybe. whoever Jeremy's fans are, would love. His wife doesn't listen. A touche, tache shirt. There you go. That's also a good name for an arrogant French argument show. Touche, touche. <laughs> yeah. Get on that. Yeah. Get, get on that. Premiering after your opinion of my opinion is your opinion. <laughs> it is such a good name for a show. Uh, the hurt is real, though, Chris, so that you know. And the hurt comes from here. Your father has, as I have, have he de- knows I'm right. That's what have over. dedicated himself to a craft that he will die caring about. He's dedicated his life to it. It might be the thing your father does best and one of the few things that your father can take a real professional pride in. For 50 years has been a, a, a journalist in this market who's mattered. And that his kids, that he couldn't even interest them when they're interested in the team. That That's he not could- truly, like, I, I would push back on that. Like, our articles about the Marlins, I'm not reading, I wasn't reading all your columns, but I would read Marlin columns. Like, I think it's unfair what you're doing there. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. What a moment. Fine. I mean, see, I don't argue back and forth. <laughs> My opinion you of your, your opinion piece, is go- strong, is more important than yours. Damn, that doesn't work. You don't know how to do this if you don't <laughs> argue back and forth. My opinion is more important than your opinion. You can't end with, I'm fine. I don't care whether or not he, you know, says that he used to read my Marlins columns occasionally when I think he didn't. I mean, I'm going to defer to his opinion because he's saying it. It's just Just frustrating for Dan because you were more passionate about this conversation in the kitchen than you are. He's hurt. What is your opinion of his opinion? (laughs) Of your opinion. opinion. But your opinion is the more important opinion. We've established that. Touche. Touche. Well, Mike, your opinion is wrong because we have at least one buyer of that shirt. It's Cynthia in the other room. There you go. Touche. (laughs) Touche. That's right. Douche, Tache. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good shirt, too. Christopher, make a note. Let's get the Touche, Tache shirt in the Greg Cody merch store before Levitar can Why would start that selling fit it. with our show? He just Why wants just money wherever it falls. <laughs> Certainly, Stu Gotts recognizes that. Of course, I do. I got to pay for my mascot. Put it up there. You get a couple hundred bucks. Who knows? Another I mean, shirt exactly. that we we stumbled upon on Thanksgiving that my dad was like, we should put that on the site. Was somebody misspoke? What is a Freudian slip when you like switch words? He was like, everything's butter with better. Yeah, my uh, Uncle Dick said that, the famous Uncle Dick. Right. Uncle Dick was like, everything's butter with better. And my dad's like, that's a shirt. Hey, you talk. Give me two. <laughs>
I've got some uh, football stuff for you on uh, your opinion isn't it as, as important as my opinion. I've got the better opinion. My opinions are the opinions that are the important opinions. <laughs> Can we make this show, please? <laughs> and that's your opinion. We've been doing it for many years. Featuring LaShawn McCoy. <laughs> Shady. Uh, and Eric Davis. Somebody writes, Hardaway. writes in here, every other episode of this podcast devolves into a PSA on how dangerous NFL football is. We get it, Dan. <laughs> and, yeah, I, I understand that we Who get it. Who said that, Baselli? Uh, like 2015 uh, shows. Like, what are they talking about? No, yeah. the hip drop tackle. We took uh, it out. What was interesting to me about last night's game, Mike Ryan's been telling you, man, Zappy, you see that he was throwing 1.3 air yards. Do you see that the offense, the passes are shorter than they've been since like the 70s? And Tom Brady, older voice, is saying football's mediocre now. And Aaron Rodgers, older voice, is saying, yeah, I agree with him. This is kind of it's not the way Brady and Rodgers play. It's kind of then last night, all right, third string quarterback. They're on three in Minnesota. You can't keep them healthy. They're on three. Oh, he's the terrible one. Ah, that was a nice story for a couple of weeks. Lynn Sanity. Yeah, he's terrible, though. That's why nobody, that's why you can't count on that because he's terrible. The past or not? That's correct. Came back to earth. And lost to a team that didn't <laughs> score a touchdown. Lost to, that's the first time that's happened, and I don't know forever. He lost to Eberflus, man. It's over. <laughs> Brian Flores loses his lawsuit every week when Tua plays well. He's allowed 10 points the last couple of weeks, 0-2. That has to suck, losing it every single week. <laughs> every week. I used to like his defense when it was with the Dolphins. Now it's just with the – it just looks – it's just, oh, blitz everyone every play. Got it. Bears are 3-1 and one in prime time. If you're someone who only watches at night, you got a day job, you haven't heard about anything, you're like, you think the Bears are great. They're 1-7 and seven at all other times. If you don't watch on Sundays. <laughs> Justin Fields didn't. He, I, I saw Rich Eisen at some point put out a, a tweet that Justin Fields, an electric athlete, somebody we want to watch, right? Average passing yard attempt, less than Zappy. 0.8 at one point in that game. Yeah. 0.8, not even a yard at one point in that game. Just dump, dump, dump. Because you can't keep the quarterbacks healthy because there are too many athletes. They're violent. It's an injured sport. Everybody, ah! I can only throw one yard unless and, and the defenses are good. Or I'm CJ Stroud. Yeah. Flores defense really good. That guy never throws one yard. Ever. I kind of feel like I could average more than one air yard Ooh. per attempt just by catching a snap and throwing it. Somewhere. Just heaving it. Just it's not gonna be point <laughs> eight yards. That's impossible. Joe Buck. Who told us last week there's no way they flex a game out? Ended that broadcast by saying, and that game is over, thankfully. <laughs> that was Aikman. That was Aikman, Aikman said, thankfully. Yes. 